afternoon everybody and welcome to the Potters Resorts 2022 World Indoor Bowls Championships live from Hopton on Sea. We have a great game as you can see coming up for you this afternoon. And let's have a little look at what we have for the rest of today. I'm now going to hand you over to the commentary team from the BBC. Yes, the first player out for this match is a man who's won several national titles in his record. He is also former British Isles Pairs champion and holds two gold Commonwealth medals. Please put your hands together for Scotland's Ronnie Duncan. <laughs> He's a former Welsh Open and two times previous Pairs World Champion. Ranked number five in the world from England, it's Les Gillett. <laughs> So just two more places to be filled in round two of the singles competition. Uh, will it be Les Gillett or Ronnie Duncan from this match who will make it through to face Ken Chan? We're about to find out very shortly in the company once again of your commentators, John Price and David Corkill. Thank you, Rishi. I've scampered up the stairs on this occasion. Quick chat with the winners of the last match. Jack Lang's 25 metres. Ronnie Duncan, not really known to the television audiences, John, but we know him as a quality player. Yeah, great player, Ronnie. So he did very well in the last Commonwealth Games on the Gold Coast, played in the triples and fours, gold medalist. He's been around the indoor scene as well, played here in the pairs with Colin Walker, another good Scottish international player. Been here a few times, I think, with Colin over the years. and Might have made a, made a final one here, David, I think. Yeah, Colin Walker's a class player as well. So Ronnie, Ronnie's a, a really good player. 
I agree with you. I think the, the first couple of balls are always important. Les is a confidence man, isn't he? If he gets on top, he's going to rub your nose in it. But I always feel with Les, if you can get in front of him, puts a little doubt in his mind. Well, he has that air of confidence about him most of the time, Les, and um, it's up to you as an opponent to rub that out as quickly as possible. Uh, Ronnie Duncan has played a lot of balls front end in the international team. He's uh, generally speaking, he's a lead, isn't he, David? And you'd expect him to be quite good to the the jack with his first couple of deliveries. Foot short of Jack High. Interesting contest. <laughs> Difficult game second match in the afternoon in the crowd especially after a big final and let's be honest that final started off it was almost like a slow burn and it just got better and better and better yeah it's always hard with players waiting to come on you never quite know when you're going to start as well so both these players will have been sort of in the dressing rooms at the back crowd will be coming in and out over the next sort of half hour or so and the green generally this rink will change after the first set after the first 40 minutes or so all the players have been saying that is who adapts to that Les of course is a left-hander and left-handers tend to get different lines yes. don't always follow a left-hander Dave can you never Never as a right-handed player would never even look at their bowls if I can avoid it simply because as you say John they're, they're taking a different line across Hungry. the body Well, we only got the good first ball in but a bit loose for the next two there's will be three balls in there trying to crunch the jack to disturb it if he can. That's what Les's game is all about. Good balls in the head, two or three in there, making it happen. He's just playing his backhand on the draw. As you say, Dave, he can squeeze the jack. The area needs to hold down, doesn't want to drop away. Oh. Four balls all around the jack. Still a shot down. One green. But if he gets going and you're not on top form, you know you're going to be in trouble. Safer to be one there. Shot, Ronnie Duncan. Disturb the jack, Ronnie. I'm trying too hard with that one. First no, you take the run, the, the one and run in that situation. It's a, it's more a matter of just trying to concentrate on your own balls here because there's only one thing guaranteed: Les will draw, draw, draw until he has to play a weight shot. But really, it's like you were saying, John. You have to dominate them. You have to get in there and make them think about things. Yeah, I don't think that, that with Lens, he doesn't want to be doing that. He doesn't want to be running at the ends. He can play the running ball, but it's fair to say he's not the strongest part of his game. Jack Lens, Certainly, and a half meters. over the years, he's been a very strong drawing player.
players known by the nickname Razor, of course, over many years for obvious reasons. Handed himself, I think. Added on a set of green balls, I think. And Razor has on a set of green balls. Not these ones, maybe, but um, for this event, he's in red today, obviously. But they're always in the pool bowl somewhere. able to take a different line because it's his backhand. Two red. Strong bias ball he's using as well. Playing it. One red. My bowl, uh, shot bowl shot, is Alan. Yeah, shot bowl is uh, 12 inches short of Jack High. It'll not be a fast game, I can tell you that, because Les really does use the time on the mat. Usually 15 to 20 seconds. A lot of players just get on and play, he just holds back a little bit. Something he developed, John, a few years ago, and it's been working well for him. I do think, though, as well, David, it's probably the younger generation of player are, are much quicker on the mat. I think if you go back in the day, I think the pace of the, the game was a lot slower. You see, like Sir Catherine Redknoll, Jamie Chesney, Mark Dawes take no time whatsoever on the mat. Whereas in the old days, Shoeback, David Bryant uh, took a little longer. May have been a tactic as well. Well, it can be used as a tactic, there's no doubt about that. The very slow players are always questioned about it. That's one thing that you can't do in the game now, because it's the shot talk. You can't slow your opponent down. Good ball by Ronnie Duncan, kept the best for last. One green. Certainly was a, probably a, a tactic. Some people would call it gamesmanship, but it was done in the old days where people would change the pace of the game, try and cool you oh. off a bit, isn't it? Knock you out of your stride. It's still, still done now. You know, there are players that do that, but they've introduced in the Commonwealth Games a time limit. We've got shot clocks here, all of that, so it is different now. Yeah, you can't do that quite as much no. now. You've got to be playing your ball fairly quickly. And Les has. He's playing just inside the line, but has he got the pace? No, he's underplayed it. He had to be careful there because if he had no back position. Yeah, I didn't want the jack. One shot, Ronnie Duncan. Good one for Ronnie. Yep. Set score zero two after two ends. That's the beauty of singles, four bowls. You, you don't need to play well with all four, Dave. One can do the job sometimes. Don't often win a tournament doing that, though. You need no. to play a, a little bit more consistent, but the, that one bowl can do a lot of damage. All in masks there look like the hole in the wall, gang. There you go. Jack length, 24 metres. Oh, surely you're not going to hold that line, Money. Well, you have to be coming off the high, the high side. There is a tight line down there, but if you go fishing for it, that's what happens, you just miss it and you end up three feet away. First one of the singles. To nine ends, supporting the final, of course, goes to 11. 
So two sets of nine ends with a three end tie break. Good adjustment by Ron for line. Still drop away from it, but uh, you'll know that he can't go fishing for that short or that inside yes, line. Les likes to see the marker at the end of the, the rink, the yellow stick you can see just behind him now on one side. He likes to see that for to take his line. A lot of people a lot of people don't use those, John. They use different things to take their line. Yeah, it's personal choice. Close to this. Just I think. Your bowl is the, the gap on your bowl is twelve inches. <coughs> Most of these players on this particular rink will be using a big drawing bowl as well, David. You don't, you don't really favour playing a, a straight to line bowl on this rink. No, you don't. You, you don't find that the people who generally win events on the portable rink, uh, they don't play with straight bowls. Well, and to be truthful with you, if you go out against someone using straight bowls, you've got a tactical it's close for tactical second, advantage right away. Also. So. If you see the best players in the world using a swinging ball, you follow them. There's no doubt about it. Something that's, a lot of the overseas struggle with that concept. Well, yeah, they're used to playing sort of narrow line balls in the conditions in, say, Australia and New Zealand on the very fast surfaces. I always think on, on most indoor carpets, you want something that turns, and I think that's generally there are some indoor clubs where people will need an on an end rink, we'll say, with not a much room to use, David, they'll use a straight to line bowl. But generally speaking, indoor carpets, I think you want something that comes back. It gives you that feel good factor. You can just pop the bowl out on good weight. Last thing you want to do is give your bowl land and it doesn't come back and it puts a doubt in your mind then. You fish in all game. Not a fan of straight line bowls, but there's a demand for them, so the manufacturers have to meet that demand. chance with this he just needs to slide well that might help close favorite might be second still favor yours just okay. just favor less for one Jack length 27 metres. No shot clock on the first bowl. I always find that interesting because once you play the jack and the jack stops, I thought to myself, well, why is the shot clock not started then? on your first ball, because it's just the same. The jack stops, so the game is in play.
your bowl. Um, yeah, same two feet. Everything very traditional with Ronnie Duncan's delivery, left hand on the lead leg. Good follow through. Nothing too complicated to cause any problems. Can't afford too many of those though. Duncan can still get in there, there was nothing in the way, it's an open draw. Two red. Jack makes a four and not easy to get out of trouble either. No chance for Les to close this down now. He's a really good bowl. Yes, left hander, he come off a nice line with the left hand on this on this side. Got a bit more of a margin. Very close to make it three. See there, not quite. Seen a lot of bowls just pulling up that two foot six short there, David, in, yeah. even in the pairs final, you know? I, I just wonder, is there an inside line or something that just holds the bowl back and you need to go a bit wider? That can happen in, in any indoor rink. <coughs> Trouble is, if you try and adapt too much, you just go whizzing through with two feet. And Ronnie. There's more life in this one, but there might be too much life in it. Let's see. Yeah, looking okay if he just gets to the red bowl and get the shot. Yeah, he's played it. Played it well. Good bowl, Ronnie Duncan. Needed that one. One shot, Ronnie Duncan. Took him four, but he got there. Uh, Set score one three after four ends. The thing is that Les has been winning that battle of the number of balls in the head, but Ronnie's played a couple of cracking balls to get out of trouble. Yeah, the trouble is with Les, even there, he was lining the two, but it wasn't closed down, was it? There was no. still a, an open draw there. Yes, he, he missed with his last ball to yeah. close it down. Yeah, even something down in the line would have been better, but he just left the, the door open and Ronnie's Jack charged Lane's through. Five meters. a little surprise with the qualifiers sometimes and I noticed it uh, in one or two of the other games where they tend to go for quite a short jack David and I always felt if you haven't got a lot of experience on the portable rink going a bit longer early in the tournament is better that's my feeling anyway I think the short jack sometimes it favours the more seeded if you like the players who have been here a number of years the short jack lengths are, are dangerous there's no doubt about that we end up in a situation where we're just trying to get the weight down to 24, 25 metres, where if it is long, you just know that you have to lean into it a little bit and you can have that confidence yeah, of leaning Yeah, to play into yourself it. in, isn't yeah. it, you know? And I think that sometimes, if you haven't got a lot of experience on the rink, that's the best way to go. Back to 
touching now, yeah? It's touching, yeah. I mean, over the years, we've seen that Sorry. dead short lens. I think uh, the specialists tend to be like the Foster and Marshall, Marshall over the yeah. years, particularly Alex, when he had a good run in the singles. He was very, very ruthless on that short jack length. Family affair when the bowls is on. <laughs> I wonder what age Laura or is and um, Orla's three maybe four bit early to be watching bowls but there you go a lot different if Danny's out there Here for Les, he's looking to come in again. He's just dropped his weight on that one. Yeah, but once again, even with the decent balls he's played, Ronnie Duncan, he's still facing a down position. And he needs another big ball. Yeah, well, he's at the moment he's, he's 3 1 up on the scoreboard. I'm just wondering if play a shot or nothing here off the forehand side and try and roll the jack. If he misses, well. misses he loses a possible three so you know it's um but he's three one up at the moment it's, if you're going to play anything like this it's not an easy shot he's playing no. the forehand he's going to try and lift into the bowler jack it's on a high line though it's wide line Don't quite get down good effort Did. Just gets inside the green, he's done it. Three shots. And that was always a danger if you go looking a little bit, John, that if you Three miss shots. it, it's going to hurt a bit. Set score 4 3 after five ends. Ronnie's been getting himself out of trouble with the last ball a couple of times, failed that time, and, and really it's hurt him a little bit on it. But Jack length, 25 and a half metres. these first two balls operating because as an international lead you would expect them to have the slight edge right on kill absolutely That's what he needs to do the 
those things back all those years ago, 25 years ago, and he came through the, the qualifier Blackpool. Yeah, the first ever PBA qualifier. Yep. And he went straight into the main event, the International Open, I think it was called at that time, it, and it, won it. Yep, he did, and he had to play some very good players to do that. He also had to play five matches in the qualifier. One great. This is more like Ronnie Duncan. This is what we expect from him. Two green. My last bowl, please, Alan. Your last bowl, the gap on your last bowl is 10 inches. Yeah, I think Les would probably be the only player ever to have done that. First time qualifier into a major televised event and won that event. Think I anybody think else has ever done that on a I think first Paul off. Foster did it the first year. He played possibly. No, I don't think he did. Or was it Stuart Anderson? Yeah, I'd argue Stuart Anderson failed. No, he, he failed in the final. Yeah. It's an interesting quiz question. You can research that tonight, Davey. Right? I will. I'm pretty certain I'm right. David Gurley, 1996. Uh, now that could be the other no. one. Last bowl, gap is five. Certainly inches. wasn't Paul Foster, it was My Stuart Anderson. Well, Stuart was Your a last bowl. I think uh, it might have been six inches Gurley. past Jack High. 100 to 1 outsider. You were on him, were you, Dave? Big gambler? Oh, I don't gamble, mate. <laughs> Moving to the other side. Understandably, doesn't want to get into that red ball, but. Useful there. Stops Laz thinking about ball on the jack. Yeah, he's looking at this, he's thinking of that shot red into jack. Time that cold. Liz has four timeouts remaining. Ronnie Duncan has the best back ball. He could play it with just a little bit over the weight, turn the ball onto the jack, hope that it stops to the back red one, or flick it onto the green one. He can't really afford to go big because the absolute back ball is green. Yeah, he'd have to get the, the red ball into the green. He's going quick at this. He's certainly thinking about it. He might go bowl to bowl on the other side, but again, that's a hard shot. In the run, now looking at the plant he is, red ball on the oh. green. Very close, very close. Oh, that was a good, good attempt. Really good effort, yep, really good effort. Good decision making as well, because there was less chance of doing damage with the jack moving too far on that side. One great. Just wanted this a little bit more solid. Yeah. Good effort. Make another shot out of this little touch in the jack and make three. Just not get it back. Oh, that was so close. Oh. Very unfortunate. <laughs> Just didn't make it back to the centre. What an effort. Great effort. One shot, Randy Duncan. Sets to a 4 4 after six hours. I think this was a sort of set or start of the match I was expecting between the, these two. It's a bit of sparring, isn't it? Yeah. Not a lot in it. As you say, John, it's what do you expect? You know, quality players, two good drawing players.
Deck length 27 and a half metres. Definitely think that uh, the secret for Ronnie is getting that first ball going. Two feet. Always difficult to pick up after a, a good final as well, John, because the crowd in and out, as we were saying earlier, but also atmosphere can be just a little bit on the flat side. Two, two inch gap. Yeah, it's always the sort of session most of the players don't like. Fast with that one, Ron. Nope. Missed the line. N7. Not the time to play a loose end. Nope. Get one, lose one. But don't get into multiples or you're in a heap of trouble. Look at the fingers there from Lars Gillett. Good again. Yeah. Excuse me, fine. Les is picking his fingers. He's close. Two. wide line there Ronnie Duncan yeah, right down needs to run didn't carry three short balls and that's a two problem in. with two against you because there's no out shot on the runner that's why he's shaking his head he knows he's got no position at all on the rink Anything behind there would have been actually quite useful. That would have put Ronnie Duncan into a little bit of a quandary. He might just decide that it's worth it now if the two balls will go out clean without the jack. Yeah, he could play down there. He's going to have to yeah, it, get a solid it, contact, probably. I, th I think really, you know, well, as you say, John, you need a solid me. contact into this one. That will take those two balls out, but it just Too also right. might move the jack. No. Depends how confident he's feeling that he'll be no worse off. He might flick one out as well if he plays just inside the line. Playing it. Big gap. Yeah. I was watching him rather than the ball. John, because you can see the ball, it, it just wasn't going to make it back, and I think he knew that. Yeah, it was just outside the line with that yeah. sort of firm weight. It, it's one of those ones where actually being off target more would have been helpful. Yeah, well, they got lucky off his green if he'd been any wider, but yep. big chance for Les Gillett to add a third. on a bit that's a bad miss for the last two balls he could have been picking up four there I 
think Ronnie will be thinking to himself, I've got to manage to get away with this end. Two shots, let's get it. Yeah, one a disaster in the end for Ron Duncan, but uh, that gentleman would be Such disappointed there. Eh? Should have been at least a three. Jack length, 26 and a half metres. Big chance here for Ronnie Duncan to get in first. And he delivers. Oh, he did me middle the jack. some reply uh, make a mistake once right. but not twice yeah very good reply still there for Ronnie Duncan same ball Okay, gives him another catch. No, it's uh, four inches short of Jack height. Same ball for Laz. Nice high line again. Another cracker here. If he gets to the jack, he's well played. That's a brilliant ball, Les Gillis. Two red. He can make it look so easy at times, can't he, Les? No on the drawing shot. After his first ball, he could have potentially been in a heap of trouble in this end, and now he's looking so good. Ronnie Duncan needs a similar line to his first bowl, David, because he was just inside the line, a couple yeah. of feet overweight, and he picked a jack up. And that's the sort of line in you to get to the two red bowls. You can see he's got his own green bowl to use. He has to play it with a little bit of weight, though. And, and the problem is how much weight, because if you go too hard at it, no movement. He's going very quick at it. I'm surprised that he's going this quick. Oh, he's got a result. Oh my goodness, oh, look he's at the got a result through. with this. Look at this. Oh, come on. <laughs> that was ridiculous. <laughs> Brilliant and ridiculous all at the one time. Well, <laughs> I don't think he was playing this, obviously, David. He, he's got this solid contact on the front pole. And look at the run through, look at the run through. All the way to the jack. Oh, Les, like. Les, get the rope oh. out. <laughs> Oh, that's a nightmare for Les. <laughs> it's just, oh dear, oh dear. Well, I'm going to apologise. These, these things happen in sport. Les has free time, that's right, you know, So you just have to accept it. And, uh, and it'll be interesting to see what Les does here because Bowler Jack is good. 
Yeah, yeah. That wouldn't hurt. Well, it will, but if he takes Jack in the ditch, he can make a three. He's taking a look at it. Has to play it. But on the eighth end, 6 4. You're lying well, John. You're sort of thinking, I can, I can close out this set. Playing the run now, looking for the jack or the ball. Close to the ball. Oh, well played. Yeah. Good shot. Not only that, but he, well, he didn't need to worry about touching the jack. I don't know why he's grimacing, but he's lying four shots. So. <laughs> he hit the target. You know, at the end of the day, you can only hit the target. Yeah. You know, it's a set lie little unfortunate he didn't get off the green into the jack solid and go yeah. with it but you know can't have everything it's a great effort by by les feel a bit better after that ronnie one as well <laughs> yeah absolutely still room here for ronnie duncan set lie against him How's your weight, Ronnie? Because your line's really good. One shot, Ronnie Duncan. Set score six five after eight ends. Can't argue with that. Played a really good ball. You're going to have a lucky one, mate. Hit something six feet short into the head, run through. That, that, that's a classic, that one. That'll, that'll make the end of the week uh, shot of the day. Jack Lake, 25 and a half metres. slowing things down just a little bit to keep that concentration level going good start again he's going well You're about two and a half feet. Target obviously is just to score one to get something out of the set. Favour one red. But I'm mine short, Hannah. Uh, your bowl is 12 inches short of Jack High. Okay. That last ball's given Still himself up. a chance. Tap it up, come inside to the red one. <laughs> and afford to arrive. They're still in a reasonably jovial mood. Yeah, Les will play the similar sort of line to his first ball now. Just trying to drop past. Big swing in there. Oh, this is good. He's coming around it. Played it well. Eh? Yeah, played that very well. <laughs> so he's good at those shots. And they're coming. The only one that, the only player I think that plays right. those shots uh, where he just ignores things so easily is uh, Mervyn King. Yeah, Mervyn's very good at that. And just play inside the line as you said now Dave yeah punch the green bowl into the jack or you okay. know to the reds has to be positive must be positive with this one got 
got the weight. Has he got the weight? Because he needs it. Oh, Ronnie, you cannot be short. Set lie against you like that, you can't be short. Even if you played the forehand to take the two balls or the jack. Yeah, the trouble that that green ball has gone across now into the sort of the line, what I call the sort of split line between the red and the green, isn't it? It's taking the shot away for him. Oh, he's played a nothing ball there and hurt himself on the get out of jail shot. Are you playing another one in or going slightly deep? The track in. And in the gap would be good. That's decent. That's pretty good. Uh, that, I think that forces Ronnie onto the two balls, but two he right. could still draw the shot, but he's got to get within, what, three, four inches? Yeah, he's got a back bowl, Ronnie, as well. Say the percentage shot is to try and run down there. Two reds. Two reds away. Timeout called. Ronnie has two timeouts remaining. So forced himself into playing the runner. Just hit something. That's all he has to do. Close to the two of them. Yep, well played. He just got a little nibble. Yeah, he played it well, in fairness. One great. Yep. Could have done without the nibble, really, because it was closer to the green ball. Yeah. Moves at about four inches, and you would expect Les, after his previous balls, to draw this, but it's still, you know, it's a, he's half set at the moment. Well, he's done everything he possibly can do. Yeah, he's asked this question, yeah. That's the best he could have got out of that end, really. Room for Les. To his backhand. But he's lined it well. It's all about the pace now. Yep. Well, he's so good normally at just repeating his balls. Yep, he's played it. Played it very well. One shot, first set, let's get it. I think that's a, a fair reflection, John, on the set, simply because Les was just doing exactly this. Yeah, a little bit stronger on the drawing balls they felt through that set, Les. Did play the higher percentage of closer balls, and yep. that, that was the difference. Jack length, 24 metres. Well, if you want to contact us, you can uh, ask me or John a question through hashtag Ask Corky or hashtag BBC Bowls, and we'll do our best to answer the questions. Obviously, I'll take the easy ones, and John will take the tough ones or the complicated ones. A lot of people watching are still interested in various aspects of the game, the differences between you know, different competitions and different rules. This is the time to ask the question. Short again on that line, Ron. He's picking the line, but it's leaving the ball a couple of feet short. Just wondered my start the said he might have swapped sides in this direction. When are people writing in now, John, asking you to play in the Port Talbot pairs or something? I'm available. Open to offers. 
Good correction. Line and weight. Very slightly past, one inch past. to his forehand now. Pretty good too. It's a jack. Yeah, he's played it well. Got him nice and solid as well. Followed through with it. One grain. Three inch. That may be the way to go. Get on that side. Your bow is ten inches short of jack high. Careful for red one. Good enough. A nice wee slide of that, John. Yeah, he had to play that side. Good ball. Good weight again. Closed the door, isn't he, there now? Not easy, this for Les Gillett. No clear draw shot on. Inside the line, looking for the running ball. Controlled weight. Oh, will he make the split? Oh, that's a great effort, wasn't he? Just got too much of the inside ball. Yeah, really good effort. Good second out of it. Nearly got the split clean. St. Dave got a bit too much of the inside ball, too thick. Ronnie Duncan. Zero one, first end. Jack length, 27 and a half meters. Don't stop you. There's a lady having a chat at the top of the bottom of the stand, Dave. Oh, that's um, fine. No problem. Okay. Just uh, make your mind up whether you're going to leave or not. She's asking them if she want to go for a cup of tea. <coughs> Can't make it up. Les was not impressed.
My ball, please, Alan. 15 inches short of Jack High. again so what's the problem this time the line looks good he just hasn't pushed through it big chance here it's early doors in the second set but these are the sort of opportunities that you want to put the pressure on yeah it's a chance to get away isn't it if you pick up a, a two shots or even a three shots a little light between you and the opponent Closer with this, but to get back to centre. It's a good ball. Two great. It's a better ball for being a little bit short. You want to land that jack high. Now he's sticking with the draw on his backhand, Les. Wide draw. He's been getting a good line down here. Push through with this one. Good effort, he needs to drop. It's typical, Les, isn't it, though? That looks in the way of the green ball. I'll come around that and, uh, and try and drop back. But the other side, he's got his own ball to play into. So you were even thinking that was a possibility. More of a possibility now, simply because he can afford a bit more weight. Target ball now for Ronnie Duncan, the red ball, the last red ball. The danger is he doesn't want to get the back end of it, drop it in. He's trying very hard. Doesn't want the back side of it, doesn't want the back end of it. Oh, that's it, shot given away. One red. Well, you called it, John, it was always a possibility, it could always happen. Just over the weight he was looking for. That always, always hangs. That's a danger, isn't it? Very unlucky. Played yeah. the right shot, but well, you could argue that the other side had less danger in many respects, especially if he was lying one or two shots, or in particular if he was lying two shots. But it's given Les a nice out in the sand where he's. Uh, Played one ball, but he's managed to Watch make shot. a single. Let's get it. Yeah, he scrambled a single there, let's get it. Set score, 1-1 one, one after two ends. Small details sometimes turn matches. Well, margins are certainly, can be very small on occasions, but it's always annoying to give the shot away with your last ball. Jack length, 25 and a half metres. He's kept that for a long time, hasn't he, John? He came out of the top 16 at one stage and 
fought his way back, and, and I give him a lot of uh, credit for the that. The last ball is four inches. That is not easy to do. No, he's a good drawing player, lads. Always has been. One thing with Les, he's never lost his, his delivery action. It's always been the same. Very smooth. Needs to turn it over. Oh, it's just dropped back Bye, again. Into it again. One way. Just stood off. Oh, just the one, yeah. Just the one, yes. It's just the one, but he knows that if he can manage to get to the center red ball, he could drop it down for two, but if he gets inside the jack, it could be three down. This is the thing about Les Gillers, he's, he's building heads um, on a regular basis, not all the time, but on a regular basis. inside he wants to turn that over oh, well there you go <laughs> he's hit it twice and twice and hasn't managed to go over it needs to go over once and he'll definitely be lying the shot yeah trouble is on that line he's on there that's not a good line to come in on he, as you said Dave he could end, end up just flicking the jack and dropping a three needs to be on a higher line Ronnie Duncan gonna send the ball out and let it work back Les is looking to try and move this jack. Too far away. Oh, half Harry inside. Goes. Doesn't want too strong. No, he's well. Yep, no, it's good. It's good. No doubt about that. Definitely three. He would have lost for the inside of the jack rather than the outside of it, but played it well. Well, he's going to need to play some weight to this Ronnie Duncan. There's a shot through the gap between the two green balls of the jack. Well, he gets a plant on one of the greens Ooh. into the reds. Only has one time out remaining. Oh, a seven, probably a seven inch gap to go through clean. Well, it's probably a bit more than that. But any connection down there, he's going to have a chance. He gets green into uh, reds, he's going to clear something. Well, that's a perfect path, John. But really, if he's coming in on the backhand and get into this ball, He's got a chance. The forehand also offers another opportunity if he gets into the red balls because on the red balls, he could possibly spring two out and stay in the head. Yeah, depends on the connection there though. Yep, it does. Either way, it's a running ball. It'll be quick. Well, a result. Two, maybe three gone. Good strike. There was never any guarantee of getting shot out of that end. So Set score two one after three ends. I think he'd be quite happy, Ronnie Duncan. Get away with only a single there. Oh, I I take that all day long. Absolutely, walking away and you think, well, this could go pear ship, possibly lose a four shot count. Yeah, even if hitting the target, there was no guarantees. Jack length, 24 metres. Just a little bit more consistent than Ronnie Duncan at the moment. Yeah, slightly past one inch. Well, he has been, to be fair, he has been during this whole match. 
Ronnie's been playing some very good balls to keep in touch. <laughs> Pleasure there from Les with that delivery. I'm sure, you could hear that. He he, happy at all. He doesn't hide it, does he? Doesn't hide it, no. <laughs> well, he's normally so good about following up a ball. Um, that's the thing. One red. There's a gap on Ronnie's, please. Four inch gap. Now 51. Been around the game a long time, the top level. He's just a boy, isn't he? Well, he thinks he is. Oh dear me, lass. It's uh, not like you. Slapping going on yeah. here from both players. Didn't like that one, Ronnie Duncan. Well, it's at the back, there's a bit of value in it, but not what he was playing. If the jack does go through to the back of the rink, that ball could score at some point if he needs to play weight. For that reason, let's just cover them. Yep. Dropping yep. down there. Don't think he'll drive this, Ronnie, will he? No, but he. The trouble with Les having two short balls is he's just put himself in a position where he can lose by taking the ball out for two, ball on the jack for two or three, you know. He's left himself open. The trouble is Ronnie is so far away with his other ball, he can't afford to take his own out, so he has to play for the red ball. Just playing the draw. Yeah. Not too far away with this one. Got a chance. Oh, he wants it solid, and he hasn't got it solid, but it might be enough for the front one. Yeah, I think he may just have made that. Good ball from Ronnie Duncan. Yeah, he's played it well, good weight. Didn't come scampering down at it. It's pretty close, I'm having a look at this. I'm quite pleased. There we go. Tail of the tape. Empire called. Measure for shot. There we go, Francis Fletcher. He'll sort this out with the. Oh, well, there you go. Les isn't even bothering. One shot, Ronnie Duncan. I thought the umpire was called there and he was getting down to do the business and he was. Uh, Set so score 2 2 after four ends. Unceremoniously extracted from the rink. I think Les really hadn't looked at it properly and then called the umpire and then he, he did go in and have a look, John, so he realised that it was one Changed against. Changed his mind, didn't he? Yeah, he realised it was one against, so there's no point and absolutely right to do Jack it. Lang's I don't think it was a reflection a on Francis Fletcher. <laughs> I go, I'm not having him doing that. So. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have a giggle about that later with Francis, you know, but it's, uh, no, he's very good. I've had a few of those over the years, Dave. I think I'm not going to call him on, and I'll take my <laughs> chances. <laughs> or, or else there's one or two that you think, actually, I'm going to call them on because I've got a better chance.
some very good balls in this match. Hasn't been uh, electrifying in terms of uh, really close balls, end after end after end. But Les has been trying to draw his way into the match and in terms of putting the pressure on. Ronnie's been playing some big balls to get out of trouble. <laughs> Just needs to move up a gear in the last three or four ends of the set. Your ball the gap is uh, 15 inches. Yeah, it's been a tight affair. Let's just edge in it at the moment. Adjustment to get in front of the green. One red. As far as my last hour. Your, la your last ball gap on that is 10 inches. Where is this? Last ball? That gap is five. The winner of this match with an attempting second round against Ken Chan, who had an absolutely wonderful win over Darren Burnett, two sets to nil. Ken from Hong Kong. Big shock the first round, I would say. Yeah, neither of these players will probably be thinking about the next round at the moment, though. It's take care of business here. Long way to go in this game. Steam here, Les. Foot morning he was perfect. One red. All good line balls reaching the centre of the rink. Yep, absolutely. But it's a it's a drawing battle, isn't it, John? You know, and it has been in so many ends a drawing battle. What a line in! He's just not got enough yeah. weight again. Pick the line, frustrating. Yeah, but no damage done. I think it's just the one. Unless Les adds uh, another with this one. Well, you can play either side, Les. Timeout called. Les has two timeouts remaining. And I know why Les is looking at this because he's thinking to himself, well, if I can touch the jack on his forehand, he can make a three. Yeah, fall yeah. against it, you mean, David? Yeah, just, just try, and, just try and, and make a change on it if he can, just to bring it a little bit sideways. Whereas uh, on his backhand, the, probably the best he can do is two. Yeah, the only thing is he's played three balls, I think, on his backhand. Yep. So he'd have to change new line, new side. It's such a tight game, I think I would go for the two. He's got a chance. Then he ran on a little further than yeah. I thought. He looked really good. I think that probably was the right decision, David, because he played three football shot. balls. Let's get it. Yeah. Only made the one, though. Yeah, he's got a good eye, Les. He, he knows. Yeah, he's he's line three, two. He was unfortunate with that last ball. I thought he was very close to getting the second. Still anybody set? Oh, the 
some shots, keep continuing. Jack length, 27 and a half metres. Oh, Patrick Holbert, wonderful. I know Patrick, who's a favorite to win the singles this year, do you think Sir Les has a genuine chance? <laughs> <laughs> there might be a Barry Humphreys thing there, but <laughs> it's, uh, well, to be truthful with you, the way it's going, there's a lot of players. I would have said Mark Dawes was absolutely right up there, but he didn't go so well in the pairs one. He played okay, not as well. Stuart Anderson, the same. Really, whenever you've got Fozzie still in there, Paul Foster and Alex Marshall, and you sort of think, mm, you know, it's going to be a hard one to pick. Nicky Brett, of course, Greg bowl. Harlow. Your bowl. You know, uh, you're hedging your bets there, uh, for I'm, Patrick I'm, I'm, David. I'm, you haven't gone for anybody. Yeah, I'm going further than that. I'm going further than that to say, is Catherine Rednell still going? You know, that's the point. You know, there's so many good players that could win this event. I think it always comes down to the quarter final. I'm, I, I've tipped Mark Dawes the two years he's won. So I'm on a treble if he if he does it, but Stuart Anderson's been playing well, and as you say, you'd never discount Alex Marshall, Paul Foster, yeah. and those guys, never ever. <laughs> and who knows? I think Catherine Rentland's playing as well as anybody. Yeah. You know that's going to be a big game, Foster and Rednell. And to be fair to Les. Les doesn't play in these things unless he thinks he can win them, which is exactly the right attitude. I didn't know he'd be knighted. But there we are. Oh, it's Patrick, right. though. <laughs> Thanks for that, Patrick. You're a gent. I'll make a prediction, David, for you. Winner of the Foster Rednell game will win it. How's that? I'll put, my, put myself <laughs> out there. <laughs> think that fence is, oh man, I'm going to sit on it for a while. Put myself up there now for a, a knock-in. Les, once again, just drawing, drawing, drawing. He, he's like a dripping tap, isn't he? It's just there, you know, <laughs> all the time. I don't think he'll appreciate that or not. No, he won't. <laughs> he won't. Well, he might, you know, you never know. But he's just there, he's always there, in the head. And he doesn't play a lot of bad ends, lads. He just doesn't do that. Well, he's played a good ball, he's got out of trouble again by a lovely single shot ball there, but... One great. Yep, please, Alan. Two inches. <clears throat> and the gap between my last ball and the jack, please. Your last ball. That's your last ball. Jack, mine, mine, Jack, my ball, isn't the last ball. Sorry, um, that's six inches, uh, seven inches short of Jack, I. He's going to need to extend this. He's down to 13 seconds. Les takes a little bit of time. Not too bad, down to seven. That's okay in a 30 second shot clock. That's all the time he has to play the ball. And you can get caught on, people do. an effort this is. Needs to drop, and he has. One red. So good at that shot. Ball almost turned sideways. Yeah, just drop back nicely. Choices here. He can't well, afford to no run because if he takes his own ball out, he's going to be three or four down. He's now in a situation saying, well, I'm going to have to try and draw this, and if I get the jack wrong, I'm going to be two down. Just think it'll be a draw shot. Reach the jack, he won't play too much overweight. Very inside line. Oh, he's missed his line. Yep. Didn't give it a chance. Not on that forehand, that'll wing away. But to be fair, you know, he left himself in trouble. One, shot, one ball in the head, and you can't go messing about with one ball there. 
set score 4-2 after six ends. How do they so quickly measure the inches away from the jack? And is there any camera tech work? Jack well, there's no camera tech and work meters. involved, but certainly on the jack lengths, first of all, um, those little white spots you can see there are a meter apart, so they're able to work that out from the front of the mat. But it's then down to what the umpire believes it is if the bowl is six, seven inches away, John, you know, and, and the guys are good at this, you know, they really are, they do practice it. Yeah, no technology yet for that type of thing. We have got electronic measures. They, they are available and they come up with the centimetres and all that sort of distance and right down to at least two decimal points. But uh, we don't use them here. They're not, not required, but uh, they are available. Six inches past Jack High. Well, as Gillard just applying the pressure all the time with that first ball. Yeah, there he goes again. Like I said, John, he just fills head after head after head. And when he's in this sort of form, and and that just keeps the pressure on all the time. Tempted to try and move this now. Yeah, I think he's going early. He's decided to go with a second ball. Two balls? Yep. Uh, one and a half. Opened it up a little bit. Good strike. Yeah, it was a little unfortunate. Could have easily got the two reds away. Just didn't quite get it solid enough the first one. Good drive or a strike or whatever you want to call it. People have got different names for it. When you play a shot like that, I've even heard the occasional other word for it. And that is he's going to play a wanger. Must be an Irish term, that. I think it's much closer to London, actually, I can't sure. Oh, this is good by Led. Another go one again. in there. You know, it's just... Very good. Gap on the last one, please. Gap on the last one, inch and a half. And I don't think he can really afford to go again. That's the problem. You know, this, this set is yeah, still half tight. Half well, that bowl has sat over now could be tempted to run now. It didn't look so much before the, the ball dropped, John, but if he draws the shot, you know, four, three, two ends to go. Yeah, it's not easy to draw the shot, though. No, it's not. So he's going again. He's very committed now with two big drives. And he's missed it. Now he's in deep trouble. Yeah, I can't see Les widening the, the target here now. I think he'll, he'll try and get a, a ball around there, but nothing alongside the jack. Doesn't want to leave a target. Got Ronnie Duncan in a lot of trouble you lads. Yeah, I, I don't want to widen the target but you want another shot so if he goes again and misses you can really penalise him. Anything sort of a couple of feet away. A couple of feet away, yeah. He's looking at the centre of the rink. He's going to be in the way. He's going to, he's going to count. Yeah, well, that's good too. A couple of feet away. You know, it didn't matter where it was, John. A couple of feet away is good. Problem for Ronnie is now, if he plays this, does if he gets the jack, will he get the shot? And the answer is, well, no. 
Has he got he, another ball on the rink? He has at the back, but and the right. respot position is against. He's forced to draw this. I don't think he's got any choice. He's going to have to try and draw it. It's a draw. He's not. He's inside the line again. Yeah, he's going to have to have enough weight to try and beat the front one, but he's not even going to do that. Oh, this is costly. Big end for Les Gillett. Three shots, Les Gillett. Good three shots there. That's going to take him away. The distance now between him and Ronnie Duncan in this set. He scored a two in the first set at four all, just to, to make that break. Now he's managed a three in the key end of a seven end set. Ronnie has to chase this match now, this end. And that's hard, John. That really is. That's a difficult thing to do. Yeah, that was a crucial, crucial pickup for Les Gillett. It's going to be tough for Ronnie Duncan to get back from that. Yep, I think so. I, I can understand Jack Lang's 25 his tactics, meters. though. Yeah. Going, going with the second ball, a wee bit unlucky the result he got. You know, I can understand that tactic, I really can. The trouble is, if you decide to go down the road of driving shots, you must hit the target. Realistically, to have any chance, he has to score three here, Ronnie. Has to win the set. Jack high. Consistent dropping of balls into the head by Les Gillett, end after end, it's just just grinds you down. Yeah, and Les won't worry about the shot now. Another close ball, you close it down. Yep. Good second. Second shot's good enough. Wins the match, moves on. One green. Trying again, Ronnie needs the red. Uh, just gets the gap. It's a bit unlucky because he, he knows he has to reach John, so you can't blame him for something like that. He has to reach the ball to rest off. Yeah, well he's got to get a two, hasn't he, to stay in the in the championship. Take him to the last end. Realistically he needs a three. Could close it down. Oh, that's a superb ball. As I say, he's one of the best drawers in the game. He's cutting out all the options here for Ronnie Duncan. That's a great adjustment from his second ball. And even if he taps his front ball, the chances are that Jack will move. Or is he going to get a two out of this one? At the plant, needs to get it solid. I was just saying that Jack had to move there, John. It was always coming to a red ball, and I think he knew that. A little shake of the head, but it was a good red. ball even hit the target, to be fair. Yeah, he played it well. I mean, that's all he, he had really. Had to look for a connection. Certainly not looking Final good. Ball. Les has one time out remaining. Les is having a little think about this. He, he either goes deep, covers the back green bowl. No. 
That's another one in the head. The two red balls could be removed. They, they could, but he has to keep his own ball in. You know, one, one shot's not enough because he can only draw the set then in the next end, so. Trying to draw another last, get yeah, an extra I, ball in the end. I can't blame him, to be honest. No, I really can't. <laughs> now it's a situation of all three balls are in the way, so it's Jack in the ditch and uh, all ducking dinner. Yeah, Jack in the ditch for two. Uh, that's the best one he can get you. He's going to go with it. Going for the jack, looking for two, close to it. Oh, oh got it. wow, that I didn't see. <laughs> to be fair, he hit the target. If he had got the jack through, he was still getting two. Yeah, he hit he, the target in fairness to him, middle yep. jack. He's got the bounce so and he's gone the right side. That was the bonus, but you've got to give him full credit for it in the, the bare jack. And that's not easy to do. No. But at the same time, you know, Jack in the ditch was worth two anyway, John, so yeah. that's fine. Good ball. 7-4. Still needs a big count, though. Needs a full house. Jack length 29 and a half metres. He's passed the jack with that, Ronnie, and, and even though it's not as close perhaps as he would have liked, it's better than being short at this stage when you need a four. Gives him options. situation now of having to group his balls you know it's um even one ball on the jack here really doesn't help him that much because of the gap so he has to group the balls he needs to play that sort of two feet and pull the jack yeah but this is trying if he gets past well. bit unlucky I, it's it's not the distance as you know john from the jacks the distance from the two green balls that's yeah. the key bit here um, and that distance is just too big you can't make a four you feel you now, if Les gets anything between the two green balls, that's the end of it. Takes a chance away. Might as well shake hands. Not a stop Jack high. No, he's, he's not bad. But Jack's still there to be pulled back. He has to play this with half a yard, two feet, pick up the, the Jack, make a three. Sort of shot you often get in the game, but you don't get it when you need it. No, quite often in the portable rink, it's very hard to get. Good effort again by Ronnie. Very close, very close, he gets it. Oh, oh that was a great oh, effort. Oh, oh, oh man, if he had made that solid jack, oh, that what was an effort. Really good try, played it with perfect weight for the shot. So unlucky he didn't get that solid, it would have given him a real opportunity. Coming down, I actually thought he'd made it. Well, it's still possible, yeah. Dave. It's not, as, it's not easy, but it's still possible. Les has got to get a ball yeah, there. Has no time to remain. The jack is still available. Um, very much like his second ball was just drifted across, so it's still there. And Les has to find a pathway into those three green balls. Just, you know, let's be honest about it, his last ball with two feet of running wouldn't be too far away.
He's played at the other side, but he still needs to get past the green one. Oh man, this is a chance. No, it's not an easy chance, as you were saying, John. But let's be truthful, in a game like this, Ronnie will say, well, to have a chance for four is yeah. good. It's half a chance, isn't it? Even it's possible. <laughs> I tell you if he plays this, the bowl of the championship. not following it so it gives me the impression that he's not happy Maybe he's just too wide it's a good effort again really good try two shots second set of the match yes, get it. well overall in the game Les was without doubt a more consistent player John but uh, fair dues to Ronnie Duncan, he, he tried everything in his locker to keep with him and he did do that, right up to the last end in the first set, right up to the last end in the second set, so in many ways it was a fascinating game, but uh, Les was just that consistent bowl after bowl after bowl, dropping into the head. Yeah, good win for Les Gillard, played well, take confidence, 7-5, 9-4. He'll go to the second round. Yes, we're going to meet Ken Chan, Hong Kong. We all we just thought that it would be a battle of the draw balls, and that's almost how it happened. To be truthful with you, with uh, Ronnie just not finding form for a while, but Les was in control. Ronnie started to play some big, big balls, but it was end after end of that continuous drawing accuracy of Les Gillett. And that just made it so hard for Ronnie, really did. Good game, played in good humour, even with the odd bit of uh, luck here and there. It was uh, a fascinating battle, but unlucky with that ball to trail it back, missed with the last. In the end, Les Gillis through the second round, and deservedly so. You can see how close it was with the ends 1, 10, 8, 16 for the shot scored. Touchers 5 and 4. Surprise was that close. To be honest with you, I think Les was even better than that scoreline, to be truthful, but uh, he'll be very happy with his form. It's a brief flutter of concern for Les in a late on in the second set, but would you have felt that you were in control through the majority of that, Les? Um, I think once I won the first set, uh, that was obviously a big relief, but. To be fair, Ronnie, Ronnie wouldn't go away. He, he just <laughs> kept playing some great bowls. And, you know, all, all correct to him, I, I, I felt that that's probably the best I've played throughout this championship so far. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, he wouldn't lie down. And, you know, he played fantastic. And I, I just had to keep pulling bowl after bowl after bowl to try and sort of shake him off. And uh, eventually I did. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. It, it was hard work. Well, I guess that's one of the, the good things for us watching as neutrals is the fact that all these matches are so closely fought. But I guess for you, the players, it's a little bit harder because it doesn't matter who the other person is, whether it's a qualifier or a ranked player, it's going to be hard. I think the first round is always difficult. You know, we all want to get over that first round. And when I saw the draw against Ronnie, I thought, great, thanks. You know, <laughs> <laughs> there could be a lot easier. Well, there's no easy game, to be yeah. fair. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'll take it as a positive. It was a great run out for me. And like I said, it's the best I've played so far here, which is a positive. Mm. Um, so, you know, I it's, it's good. I'm, I'm just pleased to have got through. And I loved hearing the reaction from all the players as they come back and they play in front of crowds again. Uh, obviously, it's a bit of a reduced capacity for obvious reasons, but what's it like for you? Oh, it's amazing. You know, last year, I said in my interview, uh, playing to a, uh, a black curtain was a bit strange and, you know, I couldn't get myself motivated. But this year, they've been fantastic and it's nice to see people back and they're enjoying bowls and enjoying a few beers as well, which is great. <laughs> so, thank you, thank you. Well, Les, congratulations. You're through to the second round. We are now going to just show you how things are shaping up for the singles. I'm afraid that's all we have time for for this afternoon. Join us later on for some more world top class balls. Until then, it's bye-bye for now.